Hi everyone and welcome back. Today I'm going to be doing my little booktubeathon wrap up video. Um, it ended up being a lot different than what I expected as far as, you know, I had made my TBR and I was pretty sure that was how I was going to do it this week, but then a lot of other circumstances kind of changed my plan of action and I made it through three books, three challenges, which is okay. It's pretty good for a week for me because I'm usually pretty busy during the week, so I'm still proud of my progress, but could have been a little bit better. So the three books I read um, are all from Jennifer L. Armentrout's um, The Dark Elements series. The first one is White Hot Kiss. You can't even see that. You know what, just to make life easier, I'm going to show a picture of what all the three of the covers look like. There are White Hot Kiss, Stone Cold Touch, and Every Last Breath by Jennifer L. Armentrout. So the three challenges I managed to complete, I kind of got a little creative because I just wanted to kind of read this series because I got hooked after I started reading. But I completed read a book that you really want to read, which was White Hot Kiss, read the book that you last acquired, which was Stone Cold Touch at the time, and then um, read someone else's favorite book. And I'm kind of taking some liberties on that as well. And my friend Trisha, who um, is part of a street team that I'm a part of, she recommended Every Last Breath and had gotten an advanced copy from Jennifer L. Armentrout, so she was really excited to read that. So I'm, I'm taking that as a favorite book. Yeah, sorry guys, I'm just being really creative. <laughs> so I guess just a little like two second review of what the books are about. I don't want to spoil the whole series for anyone who hasn't read it yet. Um, it's about Layla, and she is um, living in this like compound full of wardens, and wardens are essentially, they're like described as gargoyles, and they are like sent to protect humans from like demons and like other bad things like zombies and witches, and they have a bunch of stuff in this world that you think is not real, but comes to find out that it is and she's actually half warden and half demon so this makes her sort of like in a weird in-between and because of these mixed abilities she can't kiss anyone because she will take their soul so this has been a little bit complicated especially because she's wanted to kind of take a relationship further with one of the warden boys that she's grown up with and his name is Zane but she can't really do anything about it because she will take his soul if she kisses him so it's just kind of like this like tension. She's out one night uh, with her friends eating dinner and she sees this um, they're called like poser demons and she usually can like she does this thing called tagging where she if she like touches the demon then the wardens can go back later and like find them really easily and so she's doing that and in the process, she meets this like upper level demon named um, Roth. And Roth is sort of the Damon Salvatore of this series in that he's like this bad boy, because he's a demon. And um, since he doesn't have a soul, she doesn't have to worry about um, the dangers of kissing him. So it's just a nice little fun uh, love triangle situation throughout the whole series. And they were just like a quick, fun read. It's nothing like earth shattering by any means and it's not like my favorite series that I've ever read but it wasn't bad. I gave the first one three out of five stars because I just it was really hard for me to kind of get into this world and like get into their like Jennifer L. Armitrout's like style of writing. Like I started reading um, the Lux series and like unpopular opinion. I like didn't really finish it. Um, I wasn't a huge fan and I know a lot of people are huge fans of it so I'm sorry if I'm like offending you but um, yeah I decided to take a chance on this because I was hearing good things and um, it was okay. The first one's okay. And then the next one I gave the Stone Cold Touch I gave four out of five stars because I felt like the plot sort of like amplified more but I was still just kind of like bored with the love triangle because I felt like it was pretty obvious throughout like who the favorite was and like the only reason they weren't together was sort of like a new moon thing where he's like oh I'm protecting you by staying away from you but like I'm gonna tell you that I hate you sort of thing and it's like really obvious that that's what's going on and even she kind of suspects it so it just didn't feel like that exciting to me and I was just kind of like 
Okay, let's get this going until the last one where we know she's gonna make her choice. And for that reason, I loved the last one because it was not focused on the love triangle at all. It was more focused on her self-discovery and I felt like this plot was a lot more interesting and a lot more in-depth and there was a lot more action throughout. Yeah, I liked the third one so much better and I gave it five, five out of five stars. The first one just like did not really impress me but I like pushed through the series and I'm glad I did because I ended up really enjoying it at the end. But yeah, I hope that wasn't super spoilery. Um, I don't think it is. It kind of follows the same formula that most like trilogies that have some sort of love triangle do. Like it's pretty standard. If you are watching this on Monday, um, August 10th, my 100 subscriber giveaway is still open up on my channel, so the link to that is below. If it's not August 10th, then it's closed and I've picked a winner. As always, thank you for stopping by my little book nook of the internet, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.